Hey, it's Jim here from uh, coming to you from the heavy duty pocket door frame shop. We'll talk to you a little bit today about our pair of doors, pocket door frame. It can also be called a biparting, and some people refer to it as converging. Pair of doors, biparty, converging all the same thing. What I want to talk to you today about is how my frames are joined together. Just for the shipping process, I cut the header in the center of the opening and when you open up your box, this is what you get. You'll have two parts, part one, part two. And each one contains half of the header. So I'm going to show you how to take it out of the box and join that header together so that you can uh, do the proper install. So slide this half out. Find a nice flat surface. I'm going to use my workbench here today. Uh, it's not quite as long as the header, but it definitely works for the process. Take the header out of the second part. Bring it over here to the table. You can see I've got them labeled so that you can get them right the way they go together. Headers are marked there. Same thing on this side. So we're going to start by taking these pieces off. We don't need those. We want to bear the track as much as we can so that we can get our level in. We're just going to take those off, put them over here on this table to get them out of the way. We also have the floor brackets on both ends that we can take off with the floor bracket. I also have the floor guide. They all have the attachments that go with it. Over, set them aside, come down to this end, take this loose. Take them down, put them aside, out of the way. Got some extra attachments here that go with the floor guys. We also have a package of screws for this connection here. What I've got is, a, I like to use the Craig pocket hole system for this connection here. I like the way the screws pull it all together and hold it. I use a two and a half inch screw. It has a square drive, a number two square drive. And uh, I like to bring these up together. I, I cut them out of the same piece, I mark them so that they come right back to the same place together. I'm going to use a clamp to line them up, bring them together. There's also a bumper here where the wheel assembly comes and bumps into it. It's adjustable, you can move it back and forth, so I like to use that. It gives it a the door is soft landing when they come together. So we're going to take these off too because you're going to need this track unobstructed to put your level on it. Make sure that you can get it all level. So we're going to take those off and put them aside. This is my number two square drive bit, pop that out, put that in there, and make sure that these are nice and flush. There's two, two on this side, lay it over on it, take the clamp off, lay it over on its side, 
There's one here. There's another one on this side. Roll it over and there's four on this side. I like using this Craig system because it really makes for a strong connection. So you've got all those screws in. You can put these two screws in now. I like to use this block here. It's removable. You can put the wheels in from there. You can put the bumpers in again. It's ready to install. It's got a lot of strength. There's a lot of weight to this. It's like there's one. You're ready to take it up, clamp it to the framing header, put your posts in, shim it so that the track is level, and you're ready to go. That's him.